welcome to another Oroducky surprise. So, as you can see, I'm wearing my other hood, my little wolfy hood today, because I thought it'd be more fitting with the product that I have. So, let's have a look and see what I got my paws on this time. Today, we are going to be looking at Cave Club. Um, I saw these a while ago and absolutely love the idea of them. Uh, this is Tella and she has a dire wolf with her, so hence the wolf hood. She's super adorable, super cute. So let's turn the camera around and have a closer look. So, hi, we've now flipped the camera around so we can get a closer look at Tella. Um, I would have absolutely adored these dolls when I was a kid because not only is it that they're a doll but they're also dinosaurs and I still absolutely love dinosaurs so oh, it just it melds together two of my favourite things. We've also got to mention Hunch here who's this really cute little dire wolf. So let's get her open and have a closer look at this doll i'm really excited about this one really really excited because i just as i said i love the concept of it i love the fact that it's a dinosaurs and dolls oh i'm gonna have trouble opening this aren't i love the back print with all the little hand prints on it really easy to open and by the looks of it Hopefully, not many things to get her out. Okay. So, let's get Hunch out first. Oh, he's so cute. A little tiny bit of black there where he hasn't been printed very well, but his head does turn, which is really good. Paintwork is really lovely, and by the looks of it, it has the same markings on his face as Tella has on hers. Come down there for a second. Let's get this lady out of here. So she has a really cool little um, telescope, which I'm assuming if I look through it, everything looks, yep, everything looks crystallized if you look through the back, which is kind of cool. It's a really nice kind of crystal motif on the outside. And then, of course, every girl needs her comb as well. Move that out of the way for a minute. You can see everything really well. Okay. So I keep playing with this bit. It's nothing. It's just packaging. But it looks really cool. So let's get her out of this. So. Okay. Do her legs just pop out? I think her legs just pop out. One, two. Let's get my crispy unicorn scissors. Where are my unicorn scissors? There they are. I should always have these to hand. I never do. It was a bit too far away. That's one bit gone. And then I always make sure I put them somewhere where I can definitely throw them away, otherwise, my two cats might get them. I want to be careful with the hair though. And then these ones up here, we just go boop. I said I want to be really super careful with her hair. I'm just pulling her hair around. Oh, I'm going to do them. I'm going to do these from the back. Let's do these from the back. So I definitely, definitely do not get her hair. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. The only thing with Mattel things. Oh, my goodness. I'm really having trouble with that. Oh, there we go. Out of there, that then bobs back on there. There we go. Oh, that pops on really easily. I really like that. Okay, make sure all the little tiny bits. I said this. This is the only issue I have with stuff like this that Mattel have. These bits now stick out, and it really bugs me. Really, really bugs me. You can push them in. If you're really, really kind of careful, you can push them in. But then you get these little tiny bits of plastic just sticking out of her hair. So yeah, just you just push them in. There we go, just to get them out of the way so you don't scratch yourself or anything. Oh, she's got like a little code on the back of her. Okay, 
let's take a closer look at this lovely, lovely doll. So, the hair's come out really well, it hasn't got too many bends. I have got a couple strands that are coming out, but apart from that she's really good, really well poseable. Her head goes in all the directions, and I love the fact that her arms and hands you can turn all the way around, her arm sockets, her shoulder sockets, and I'm going to say it's probably the same with her feet. Yep, her legs go up. They're a little tiny bit stiff at the hips, but at the moment, because she is new out of the box, and then do her feet. No, her feet don't, but you can take these bits off. And her dress is really cute with this kind of leopard print, but isn't because it's got little eyes in it. This little plastic belt is really cute, and it's got a bit that you can take off and the hairpiece you can sort of take put in and take out as well she is really pretty a really lovely doll i love the sizing of her and just everything oh her hair color is gorgeous with this light pink through it as well and i love the fact i said that she's completely poseable i can have her sitting on my shelf kind of hanging over they are a lovely idea the clothes i'm assuming the velcro yep now there's a couple of strands that may be a little bit too straggly, but again, it's okay. Where I've taken her out the box, her hair is kind of fallen out a bit, but I should be able to pull that back in. This bit's really cute on the top. If you were to take it all out though, I can see that being a bit frustrating where it's shorter than the other bits, but apart from that, she's an absolutely lovely little doll. Beautiful little markings on her face as well. I'd be really happy if I got this for Christmas or for my birthday she is absolutely adorable with her little tiny dire wolf as well the, again the sizing is really good and then should bend her arm back into the right place I haven't even realized, should just be able to put this in a hand will it stay in a hand will it stay in a hand all right oh it will assuming even get it to look through it Ooh. just about just about there we go it's in a hand as well really lovely lovely doll absolutely love her she's so so cute again though a few strands are kind of a little bit longer than the other ones but again that could just be where she was in the box but yeah, all in all, I think she is an absolutely... Oh, I love her. She's just so cute. Just so cute. Little tiny pink and blue dress. <laughs> so cute. And a boop. And a boop boop. Woof, woof, woof. Oh. So again, I would definitely recommend it. They are £15 each. And I know they've done play sets as well um, with them. And there's also a, a large T-Rex that you can get for them to ride on, which is super, super cute. So again, really lovely doll. I'm really pleased with it. Definitely like a really good find. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.